Alright, I want to do a quick video on flying a micro drone and basically the on switch is on the side. Um, an important factor to understand and know before you fly is that each there are two kinds of propellers and um, ultimately if you mess them up the drone won't fly. So if you find yourself the drone is not flying, maybe you just you lost your propeller and you went and grabbed one and what happened is the, the, the drone will tilt on one side or it just won't have any lift because basically the propellers are pushing down, I mean pushing the air up instead of pushing down. So if it's tilting over, it means you've got the propeller, you got an odd propeller on. If it's just not flying, it means you've got the propellers on opposite and just switch them around. So that's just a little no, so so how do you start now? If you've got multiple ones like I do, basically you got to start up one one at a time and connect it to the remote. So you turn on the drone. The blue light is front, the red light is back. Always start the drone off facing forward. The remote here, you then will turn on. Okay, that one click means it's connected, and finally. That long click right there beep, means it's connected. It's, it's finally connected. Once that's done, you can connect your other drones. Now, this is how I actually have my um, uh, Phantom 3 Professional set up. And ironically, I try. I didn't select this. I tried a whole bunch of different systems just by using it. And this was the system that I liked the most. And incidentally, it's the system that they have. So obviously. You know, it's, it's the right configuration how I'm flying. So this is basically the power. This is the forward. This is the back. Forward and back. This is basically um, um, uh, what we call strafe left, strafe right. So the copter basically with the right side here is going to go forward and back, left and right. So this is the easiest way. So you can do turn. You can do movements like this. You can do it like this. All right, that's it. This controller basically is power up, means uh, lift, right, and power down, and then ultimately it's going to turn. These are the turns. So this is more advanced movements, so I wouldn't worry about that right now. You're just going to worry about going up and back in this. All right, so how to fly a micro, what I, micro drone. Now what I recommend is start on a, a large floor and just pick up the drone and just move it back and forth and get get used to the controls. Simply flying it back and forth, just hovering over the ground and just practice the controls. Now, if you're gonna crash, what you're gonna do is cut the props, just like that, right? So there's no reason to really, you can just go forward and back. So you, you see, it's the um, the power up is so sensitive that you just got to get used to that. And the best way to keep used to it is kind of keeping it on the ground. You see, I'm, it's very hard. I'm trying to control. I'm going a little bit trying to get it so it doesn't bounce. So the objective here is to fly it without it bouncing. There you go. So what you want to do is get the power. I've not seen it here. I'm flying too high. Let's try again. All right. Enough power to fly it on close to the ground. Practice the roll. Practice doing circles. Once you get a, once you get. Um, backwards and crash <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that that is a great cheap toy for improving your Phantom 4 the great thing is you can fly it indoors you know I bought 
four of them. My wife gave one away, one for each of us in the family. And the boys are loving him. And the great thing is you have multiple one. When one dies, then you can charge the next one.